just worship him. Just worship him, just worship him, just worship him. Just worship him, Elohim, just worship him. Just worship him, El Shaddai, just worship him. Just worship him. He's great. He's glorious. Hallelujah. Just worship him. Yes, just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Yes, praise him. Just worship him. Continue. Just continue. Just worship him. Just worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give him praise. 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 Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Just worship him. 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 Hallelujah. 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 There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing it was. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. how I love Jesus. Oh, 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 how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise because you first love us. Not that we first love you. We don't even know ourselves. We don't even know how we came here. We don't even know how we got here. But because we understand and we knew and we saw and we did, oh my God, without any doubt uh, in our heart that you are our God. You must have been our creator. You created us. You were, your word said so. Father, accept our praise. Accept our honor. Accept everything that we have to give to you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Put those hands together. Put those hands together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And I want to say at this time that there are some pro programs that God has been putting in my heart to do. There are some aspects of my, of my ministries that are lying, uh, cooling off <laughs> because I've been taking so many things of me. I wear about six hats. Church is just one of them. Church planting around the world is another one. The Revival Village is another one. The Global Bible College is supposed to be at university is another one. And so on and so forth. But with God's help, all things are possible. I have posted that we need some workers, some volunteers, but it's, it's very, um, what do I call it, surprising these days that you can hardly get people to volunteer these days. At first, if you get people and they come, the first thing they're going to ask you is the money. How much are you going to pay? Me? And so on and so forth. Unlike the parable that Jesus gave that a hireling man went on the road early in the morning and saw some people standing and said, go to the vineyard and work for me. And a later, few hours later, he saw others say, go and work for me. None of them asked him, how much are you going to pay? The same thing happened when we started, when I started ministry. When I started, when God called me, I didn't ask him how much he's going to pay me. And today, I am not regret. God told me I need partners. So people see partners when I'm asking for partners for them to be my partners. They think I'm begging for money. I need to clear that out. I am not begging for money. I'm asking you to support, contribute, sponsor. I have the missions that God has, has put in my hand. It's not begging. I have my good certificate. I'm not a beggar like on the street. Those who beg on the street, many of them don't have their certificate. They, they are not qualified. God sent me to school and so on and so forth. But he is asking for partners. Without partners, 
he will not be able to do his ministry. John Hagee asked for partners. And all the tele-evangelists, you, you know them. They ask for partners. And so Reza Degol is asking for partners. So Reza Degol is not a beggar. Don't see my own as she begging for money. No. I'm asking for partners or sponsors, contributors. That's all I'm doing. It's not that I am begging money like a beggar. Don't see me like a beggar. See me in the same light that you see those people. They have more opportunities and they have more people. And that don't mean that the quality of the message that I have is less than what they have. As a matter of fact, many of them will love to have the quality of message that I have and can have. I'm not boasting, I'm telling you. Some of them are supporting even uh, 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 tattoos and promoting tattoos. God don't want that. I will, if I even could talk with them, I will tell them they need deliverance. So that is how far it can go. So don't see me as a beggar. I'm not a beggar. I am God's son. And I want you to partner with what God is doing. Amen? Amen. 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 Yesterday as I was asking God again, my God, as a matter of fact, the day before yesterday, God gave me a figure. Because sometimes when God, I have different kinds of Bible. I have Bible beside my bed, on the night table, I have Bible on my bed. <laughs> I have Bible at my church. I have Bible my, by my laptop. So sometimes God will use a figure on the Bible. He might tell me 1028. Whenever he's telling me that, I know that he's telling me to go and open the page of the scriptures. And then when I get there, I will see the message. So he gave me 766. Now, last night I checked that. I said 766. By the time I opened it, oh my God. That is the message. That is the message. And what is the message? Before that, last week, he gave me the passage that talks about the treasures of darkness. And I said, as I was talking here, I heard um, <laughs> Queen, uh, I mean, the King, King Cyrus is what is that, that uh, passage is, is meant for, is written for. Not only him, but even us that have come after that. That is Isaiah 45, 2. And then when I, you know, what, everything that God has been saying, I read verse 2, verse 3, and so on and so forth. The treasures of darkness that God will give, give to King, um, um, what did I call his name? Cyrus. And then as I was preaching here, I heard um, Queen Cyrus. And I laughed and I said, wow, I just I had... Queen Cyrus. Now, when I went to open to 766, guess what? Ezra. That is, it was the book of Ezra, chapter 6. I wanted to open to the book of Ezra, chapter 6. And when I started to read it, it was like, my, my, my. I need to jump now. I need to do quick now and do the construction of the revival village. Build, build, build. Not only revival village, even other places that God has allowed open doors. He want me to be there. And I said, oh my God, this is like a follow-up to last Sunday's preaching right here. So I want to read right now. Ezra chapter 6. Ezra chapter 6. Nobody should doze off or sleep right now. Take your Bible online, Facebook. Yes, I'm greeting you if I've not done so. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So I want you to open your Bibles to the book of Ezra, chapter 6, and I read. Amen. It's a follow-up surprise. Then Darius, the king, made a decree, and search was made in the house of, of the roads, where the treasures were laid up in Babylon. <laughs> it took the roll, you know. The roll is like a uh, what do they call it? Papyrus or some papers or I don't even remember what yeah, what they call it here in Jamaica. Yeah. And then to find to locate where treasures were found. Oh my god. And there was found an at uh, at meter in the palace that is in the province of the Medes, a row 
and there it was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus, oh Jesus, you see what I'm talking about? In the first year, so in, they found this scroll. And this time was the time of King Darius. So he then searched, they made a decree that they should find the scroll of the road. So they found it, and guess what it says in verse 3. In the first year of Cyrus the king, the same Cyrus the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be built. And I'm saying to us now, Grace Adego Global and International Missions, Arachia, Apostolic and Deliverance and Ministries, Global Bible College and so on and so forth, let the house be built. That is the instruction I'm getting. Is everything is not coming from me, from my heart. When I was really like that, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The place where they offered sacrifice and let the foundations thereof be strongly laid. The height thereof three score cubits and the breadth thereof three score cubits with three three rows of great stones and a row of new timber and let the expenses be given out of the king's house let the expenses be given out of the king's house and also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem and brought unto Babylon be restored and brought again unto the temple which is at Jerusalem everyone to his place and place them in the house of God. When I was reading this, I said, Jesus, now help me. He said, let the, what? <sighs> Maybe some people, they, they, oh my God, because you are not in my church, in my ministry before, you don't understand all of this. Thing. It says, let what be given out, the expenses, let it be given out of the king's house. Let, let us seek, let, let give the expenses out to the people out there. And that's what I just spoke to you. Let people come and bring money and bring uh, 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 materials and bring uh, manpower and so on, advice and all that is needed. Let the, 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 the treasures be, be, be coming as well. I have saw that what's going to happen is that everything that I uh, have, the vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple, which is at Jerusalem. There was a time when a so-called Nebuchadnezzar took our things away. Now let him come. Ah, yeah, yeah. When I tell people when God said to me, pursue and conquer. As I was about to open the door a few weeks ago to enter the church, I had pursue and conquer. And I came and I preached the sermon. And I said, God is telling me to pursue and conquer. Maybe they were there not yet released because I wouldn't have no space to put them. But the time is coming right now gradually that I need to retrieve them. Retrieve them. Just like David, King David. When he came back from war, he discovered that everything that he had, his children, his wives, and everything was gone. And then what happened? He pursued and retrieved them. And God is saying to me, like David, God has said to me, like that many times you call me David. Pursue and retrieve. Bring back everything. And so, as just as it was given right here, it says, go after all those things that the that King Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple, which is at Jerusalem, and brought into Babylon, be restored and brought again unto the temple, which is at Jerusalem, everyone to his place, and place them in the house of God. So all those things that were taken, that were removed, they are to come back, which is what I kept on saying, that I have to put back these things in the at the revival village. That is where they belong. Many things that were taken, they have to be retrieved. They have to come back. When I was telling people, they thought it, I was selfish. They, I don't know how they thought that I was selfish because I worked for all these things. I worked for them. Not even only if I want to calculate. Every 
every church that I had started, that my late husband and myself had started, started from my living room, my family living room, and grows out, grows out, and God multiplied, and God made them to become trees. And so it is my responsibility to gather them back. Gather them back. Doesn't matter if it is billions upon billions of dollars that want dollars and uh, in, in money and materials. It doesn't matter. But then people don't know when you're laboring hard, when you're working so hard, when you cry in the night, when you cry in your closet, when you cry in your bathroom, and God bottles all your cry. God bottles all your cry. And when God blesses you, their eyes open, pop open now to whatever you have. And then they think it's too much for you. You, you shouldn't have that. It's like somebody who planted a, 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 a tree, a mango tree, mango seed. A little girl planted a mango seed. And I'm talking about myself when I was growing up. I planted a mango seed to a place. And the mango tree became big eventually. I left. I went into the towns, I mean cities and stuff. By the time I came back after over 10 years, and I said, let me go and check my mango tree that I planted many years ago. By the time I got there, it was a huge tree with a lot of fruit. And I said, but I planted this in You? No, sir. It's not you. I said, of course, I'm the one that... They said, no, 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 no. That's how this world is. The time when you sow, nobody saw it. But when you are reaping, everybody saw it and you see and they will say, no, 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 no. You better disclaim because if you claim it, we're gonna kill you. <laughs> Some can go to that exit. May the Lord help us. Amen? Amen. But God wants this thing to be done. Every every turn I make, if I go forward, I'm hearing about construction. Sometimes I see a trance. Sometimes I see the ground right there. Sometimes I see like the ground is burnt up. It's like straight chemicals and the chemicals are burnt the, 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 the grass. Sometimes I see the pathway that we always walk through when we go there and first walk through straight to see, you know, the, 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 the land and everything. And sometimes it, it's like I see like a, a, some machines, some, some, some uh, bulldozers, some, I don't even know what they call them right now, uh, you know, like right there, some cement being uh, 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 a mixer, cement mixer, whatever they call those equipment and machines. I'm like, oh my God, but Lord, when, 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 when? And I keep hearing, where could I go up to the Lord? Where could I go up to the Lord? And Father, I am asking you, where could I go but to the Lord? The trust in man is emptiness. Send help, O oh God, for the construction. Send help to do these things that you want me to do. Because people in the Bible, they help. You gave them where they should go. I mean, where they should go. Who they should call. They called people and they got people that, that came and helped to build. I know that there are some balance, there are two buyers in this world. There are some balance, there are two buyers. And I'm hearing there is Leviticus too. Leviticus talks about God has referred me to there several times about the priest. And, and the offerings and the tithes and the tithes and the offering. The tithing, the offering, very essential, very important. God will not spend our tithe and offering in heaven. He doesn't spend money. He doesn't spend US dollars or euros or uh, uh, pound sterling in the heavens. He doesn't spend Cayman Island uh, money in the heavens. But when you give, uh -huh, you, you, you will see it as, as a faithfulness to his word, as an obedience to his word, and then we bless you. I need some, somebody to say, my next tithe is coming to build that building. My next tithe and offering is coming towards that building. Maybe some people think that I, I'm going to near it. If I'm, this, if I'm, if I'm someone who near whatever they give to me, like Jamaica will say, near it. Uh -huh. If I near what you give to me, I will not be able to do as I had done. I will not be able to buy the land. 
I will not be able to even go and make. And, and I'm telling you, I don't mix mix uh, this project. This project are different from one another. I don't mix them. So if I'm somebody that here, I will not be able to even do anything. You want to ask me about people here? <laughs> they hear the they, they fruit, they hear the seed, they hear everything done. So nothing can work when you hear. So I don't hear. I learned how to say from what was a very little girl. I learned how to, uh, 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 how to do business from a, I was a very little and I am not ashamed to say that from a very little age I learned to sell business but looking back I then discovered that God was training me from where I am to be. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And so I am asking you help us to build the revival village. Help us to build it. It will have accommodation, sleeping over. It can be, it, it can be used. It will be used as a a, a a camp, prayer camp, deliverance camp. Church will be there, and arm of this church also will be there by itself, and so on and so forth. And whatever people anywhere want to use it to pray, the youth, the women, the men, all kinds of people, they can have the place to go and use. Right in the vicinity of St. Bulbe. And in case anybody in Bulbe from Bulbe is watching and uh, listening to what I'm saying, good things is coming to Bulbe. Few years ago, we conducted a, a research. We, we, we took out questionnaires and we gave to people around the vicinity. And they said, Oh my God, we want this. We want this. We are planning in a few uh, uh, months time or maybe weeks time, as you say right now, getting closer to it, to have a big bang, noise making crusade right there and distribution of food items and calling people out to let them know big bang, big bang, something good is coming to your place. Something great is coming to your place. Help us to pray. It's needed. The money is needed. Nobody will near it. If you want to know, you can collect your receipt and then you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. God has broken the curse of poverty over my life, over this mission. Because it is his work. He will not allow curses to stay. God does not allow the rod of the wicked to rest upon the lot of the righteous. Else, the righteous will put forth their hands out in iniquity. So, God's word, he even honors his word more than his name. And so, just like Ezra, the book of Ezra, chapter 6, right now, I didn't take myself there. God wants this work to be done and quickly. And we need people to come and help. People, sincere people, not people who just want their own bed, who just want to come around and come around and chat, 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 and by the time they finish, they are asking for money. No. Or people who up front are asking for money. Just like that. Is that why you're coming? Then you are not fit. Let God use you. Let God use somebody. And there are very few persons that have donated. And I'm thanking you. I know some people will not want their names to be mentioned. Very few people, very, very few people. And I know and I believe that your blessings, hallelujah, when God is ready to pour the blessings on you, you'll be surprised. Hallelujah. And I continue to read. Uh -huh. I read verse 5 again. And also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God, which they which had nine laser, uh -huh, took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem and brought into Babylon be restored and brought again into the temple which is at Jerusalem everyone to his place and placed them in the house of God now therefore we are reading Ezra chapter 6 now therefore that, that night governor beyond the river Shetam Bosnai and your companions the upper Abasachites, sorry, which are beyond the river, be, be ye far from that. Instead, some people be far from what we do. Be far 
from what we are doing. Why? Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. It's telling some, I guess, maybe those people might be some, like Sambalat and Gumaras, I mean, sorry, some Sambalat and Tobias, sorry. He said, let it alone, let the people, the Jews, the people of God, let them build the house alone. Moreover, I make a decree, that is Darius. Moreover, I make a decree, what ye shall do to the elders of these Jews for the building of this house of God, that of, of king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, for which expenses be given unto these men, that they be not hindered. Let expenses also be given to those men beyond the river. Uh -huh. Let the expenses of the building be given to them. Share the expenses. Let more people bring in income. Let people generate income. I'm telling you, I try rot and depend, and depend. How do I generate income? How do I bring in income? When I'm telling the churches that say they are a branches of us, I'm telling them find a source of income. Do fundraising. Some of them think that I'm a joker. Some of them don't take me serious. They just they, 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 they think I have a machine that is making money. <laughs> They think I have a machine that is very good. Generate income. Find ways, means. I talk about a, a concert. Do concert. Do a food with the concert or some talent show, gospel talent show, and call people, go to companies. I have to be doing all of these things. I have too many things in my hand. I have to face square the assignment that God has given to me right here. And so I want others to find other churches are doing it. It's very common. Fundraising. Men's fellowship doing something for fundraising. Women fellowship are doing something for fundraising. The youth are doing something for fundraising. Oh, the choir, they are doing something for fundraising. Oh, this and that and stuff like for fundraising. Why can't churches, individual? I did fundraising all my life from I was pastoring. And, 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 and the, the resident pastor of Overcomers World Ministry that became Chambers of God International, I did for like 25 years. I was fundraising this and that. I have done it before. I cannot tell you to do what I, I can't do. I'm not like a Pharisee that will not even leave the body with a finger, but will tell you to carry everything. I don't do that. I know what it is. Do it. Raise funds for the work of the Lord. Don't sit there and expect somebody. And other people who might be crying and looking to collect money who need help. Some of them, they have their hands, they have their feet, they have their eyes, they have everything in them. They, 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 they don't want to work. I work hard. I'm a worker only person. I don't even have time for myself. Sometimes. And so I'm telling everybody, help us. I'm not a lazy person who is just waiting to collect. No. Change your perspective, I mean, perception. Change your inner, erroneous views about me, about grace and evil. Give to this world, and God is going to bless you. If I'm not a hardworking person, uh, when, I, when, when, when I had crisis, when I was heavily persecuted, I would not be able to rise. But God help me. And I, lose. and I don't sit down there. I help myself. Help the hands that are weak. And the Bible says, help the weak hands. I need people that will help to hold my hands like Moses' hands were held up in the wilderness. Help to hold my hands. Give for not feeling. Don't curse me when I ask you to help the world. So we will just curse. So we will complain. And so on. And throw words. And so on and so on. Don't do that. It's God's work that we are doing. I didn't bring myself all the way from Africa. I told the separate that if it is for me, I will have escaped to America. Some persons are calling me, come to Canada, come and live there. I said, I can't. They said, What? What happened to you? I said, Because this is where God brought me. I don't want to be the second Jonah. <laughs> and so when I'm asking you to help, help. Do not wait until the church is big.
big before you. Hey, now I can give my money because that church is now big. My church was big. Let me tell you so. But I don't want to go there even right now. Uh huh. Let God bless you by giving. I have a little girl in this church, 12 year old, that gave because I was asking people to give to the church workers around December that year and she got a miracle. Her heart that was outside her body when she was born and with, uh, with, with the help of medical doctors they, were, they managed to put it on the stomach. They couldn't put it back where her heart supposed to be. Three, the mother said, three, um, what would I call it? Surgical operation has gone over her. And they only managed, the last one was able to put it over on the stomach. That was where the heart was. By the time this girl said she was going to give the 2000 that day, her heart jumped from the stomach to the right place. It was a cry, it was a shout for joy. She, she went to the bathroom after she said she was going to give. I was actually trying to prevent her. I said, you little girl, where did you get the money? She said, I will save it from my lunch, lunch money. I said, oh no, I don't want to take your lunch money. The mother said, I will help her. Shortly after she, she went to the bathroom, they called me, called my attention. They said, look, 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 she's crying, the mother is crying. By the time I said, what happened, what happened, what come, come, come. Only to tell me that. They, she went to the bathroom, they had job to the right hand, and the heart is right now. In the, I'm like, what is that? What did you Because said, because God asked her one day, if I heal you, what will you do? And he said to God, I will give to you. And that be, and God, God didn't even wait for her to put the money in the basket. The miracle happened. Somebody needs to get miracle. Today is our transform life. Sunday. You want your life to be transformed. You want the degree. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. That you want, that you're laboring to get. So into this, 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 this revival village. So into the revival village. So into this ministry. So into this mission. Oh, you want that business. I've seen somebody with a big tray of groceries selling. My God, and it's like you can't sell what just a few, a few is bought. I've seen some tea leading, leading the tray, but little, little, little. My God, uh huh, my God. But give voluntarily without murmuring, and you will see how God will set favor, favor, favor. And you are in a, taking a tray now to sell, you're gonna have a store. Hallelujah. Uh huh. I have seen some people, my God, with chicken, 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 chicken. I've seen the food of chicken. They are raising chicken, raising chicken. But maybe some of them are dying, dying, dying. I don't know why I've seen the chicken. But God is saying to me, so into this ministry, into this mission, and you will see the hand of God on your labor. Ah, I am here the labor of love that you give will not go unnoticed. The labor of love that you give and the sowing that you do will not go un 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 unnoticed by God. God shall, my God, I think it's Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 that said, God shall not forget your labor of love in that you, 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 you give, you, you do to God's people and you are still doing it. Just paraphrasing. God will bless you. Don't be heartless. Give. Do not say, let's look at her. Let's watch her. If she will do it. Hey, when you say that, it touched God's heart. It's like you are pinning God's heart. It's like you are using a dagger and you are punching God's heart. And God will show you great and mighty things. Give. And God is going to bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want to pray. I want to pray right now. Father Lord, your word has gone out. It's a plea for the building to begin. The foundation. We need the caterpillars, we need the one that we break some rocks, we need the one that we level the place, we need all kinds of machineries, uh, even the, the, the pavement for it, and even to start the construction, to lay the foundation that be very deep, even some, uh, right here as we have read, some, some description of the measurement was given, my father, you said, uh, it's the house of the Lord must be built, it must be built. In the past, I, a lot of criticism 
and not go, oh no, 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 we don't go to God. But Father, you have reduced that right now. You have given me peace where that is concerned. Father, raise help. Raise help. Help us, oh God, to be able to do this, to begin to start it. Hallelujah. People that will not come and just near the money. People that will not come and receive and take the money and run away. And let there be peace even in that community of good way. Let there be peace. Arrest every criminal. Arrest them. Arrest criminals. Expose them and those who are walking evil. Evil in that place. Idolatry. Crash them. Just crash down every temple of idols in Good Bay. Just crash down every temple of idols in Good Bay and vicinity. In the name of Jesus, crash them down. In the name of Jesus, everybody living around that place is an angel. Crash down their temple of idolatry. All the Obia men and Obia women, all the, 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 the handicapped people that are there that are not living by godliness, but are following their plan. Follow their plan. Let them be righteous. Men. Send your angel into that place to trash down the gates of hell, to shut down the gates of hell, to send back everything that has come from hell back to hell. In the name of Jesus, every python, every snake, let them be burnt, let them be consumed by the consuming fire of God. Hebrews 12, 29, let the consuming fire of God consume them, consume every python, consume every snake. Every dog, spiritual dog, hallelujah, that is in that place. Every spiritual hyena, every spiritual, uh, oh my God, baboons, every spiritual evil, wicked, wicked spirit that is in that place. Let the fire of God consume them, devour them, devour them, devour them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And every falsehood, falsehood that is in that place, we come against it, we crash it down. In the name of the Father and, and of the, uh, the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we come against the spirit of Satan and Tobias in that place. Father, quell them, shake them, give them shame, let them fall. No weapon that is fought against us, against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against the construction and against me and against the church, we condemn right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This, this young man and uh, yesterday that I was called to come and do deliverance for he locked up himself in the bathroom and he will not come and let the power of God hit him, touch him in grand pain, touch him touch him, break him up break the power over his life let him submit himself for deliverance, that woman that has tied him down, we break we use the hammer of God to, 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 by God, to uproot to uproot the, 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 the second part of the hammer is something that we are putting it that she has used to nail it down. We are putting it, we are putting it, we are putting it. Let the woman tumble over. Let your power hit that woman. Hit her down. Set the young man free. And all those who have who sent letters, 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 uh -huh. and, and, and WhatsApp messages that this breakthrough, that are calling unto you, God. Father, let your power touch them. Let your power that transform life, that transform people, touch them. Hallelujah. And I'm hearing that transform villages. Oh, Jesus. Let your power transform that village. Let your power transform that village of Gulbe. Let your power transform that village of Gulbe. And I'm seeing a hand right now. The hand is holding onto, onto my God, onto a hammer's hand. It's holding onto a hammer's hand and it's turning even you know, the, 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 the right part of it. Oh my God. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing a machine. I'm seeing a machine. I'm seeing implement. Implement of war. And I'm seeing some stone arranged beside a road. Arranged beside a road. Oh Jesus, let it begin. Send us people. Hallelujah. Send us people. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Every unreasonable mind. Get them out of the way. Oh, I am, I'm seeing tambourine. I'm seeing tambourine. I'm seeing tambourine. God wants us to start shouting. Shout hallelujah. Echo joy. 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 Echo joy in the place. In the name of Jesus. Shout of joy in the place. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray for the onlookers, those who are watching this program, let your power rest upon them in the name of Jesus. And this, my church people, let your power rest upon them. Even right now, in the name of Jesus. Every closed door that God has not closed, that has shut on the people, open them in the name of Jesus. Let them enter, let them enter. I am seen and timing. Oh my God. But I let, 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 let us be on time. Let us be on time. Help us, oh God. Help us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. 
Do you like what you have been hearing? Do you find the discussion interesting? Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell before you leave.